Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Uh, you can see a video version of this if you go to channel Take Your Life Back Today show on YouTube. Yesterday we talked about the second coming of Christ. We are more than half uh, way uh, uh, in 2020, and if nothing else happened this year, it would still go down as one of the strangest years in history. I want to talk about rapture this uh, today. For 2020, the best word to describe it, I believe, is uncertainty. People are uncertain about their health, the economy, social reform, the nation, and the world. Christians around the globe are gazing skyward as uh, there is an aura in the air that Jesus is coming. Folks, my uh, emails and my, uh, my uh, texts are submerged in letters asking about the trivial period and the rapture. No one knows when the rapture will come. Matthew 24, 36, Mark 13, 32. And I have written extensively on the signs pre uh, preceding the rapture. Therefore, we will look at why the rapture comes before a tribulation period. Friends, the rapture is an event where Jesus Christ will appear in the air. The trumpet will sound and all believers in Christ will leave the planet. Those who have died since the resurrection of Christ receive their, uh, 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 their original bodies. Those that are alive will also be changed in a twinkling of an eye and depart this world. The most vivid description of this event is found in 1 Theologians 4, 16-18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven without, uh, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and then um, uh, with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You can also go to 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 58, my friends. This event leaves on earth everyone who does not know Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Following the rapture is a short transition period. The Antichrist will sign a seven-year treaty covenant with many nations concerning the city of Jerusalem. The signing of the document starts with a seven-year tribulation period in Daniel 9.27. True believers in Christ will not see the wrath of God. First Theologians 1, 9 through 10, for, that, uh, for they themselves shew of, uh, shew of us what many of entering we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. God delivers his own before the time of wrath begins. If some doubt is above, the verse is specific to the uh, wrath of the tribulation period, then Re Re Revelations 3.10 should remove any doubt. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham asked the Lord the question, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Genesis eighteen twenty three. The answer then was no, as God removed Lot and two of his daughters from the fury end of those cities. We also see this principle applied in uh, Enoch's rapture before the flood. Noah's family safe, safely within the ark a week before the rain starts to fall in Genesis five twenty one through 24, 7, 9 through 10 and 16. Revelation's narrative is also indicated that the rapture before the tribulation because of the absence of the church. Chapters 2, 3 of Revelation consist of seven letters to seven churches. The chapter 4 begins with John going through an event that is identical to the rapture, Revelation 4, 1. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was it where of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things 
which must be hereafter. There is no mention of the church again until she returns to earth as the bride of Christ in Revelation 19. The tribulation period starts in Revelation 6 and runs through Revelation 19 without mention of the church. Friends, see the two we see the two witnesses and the 144,000. We read the, uh, of their followers, those saved during the tribulation. Still, there is no mention of anyone saved before the tribulation begins. Why? They are already gone. It should take a book to make an exhaustive study of the chronological order of the rapture and the future events. Much more that space allows me uh, on this video. Rest assured, however, as of right now, the Christians are still here and the tribulation has not started. That is a fact. Call me, 844-405. Help, together we can help each other take our lives back. Remember, yesterday I did the second coming of Christ and today it's rapture. Those are the two parts. Keep smiling. Even a smile to a stranger can help that stranger for the rest of his day, his life, and make a difference in your life. Don't forget that God, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, John 3, 16. He gave us his only son. How many of us would sacrifice our children, grandchildren for the sake of humanity? Not many, but God did it for us. May God bless each and every one of you. Take good care. Bye-bye now.